Okay, this is Bama Deep Tab, and I believe I just dug up my first silver dime for today. I'm going to show it to you right there in the plug. So I'm going to pull it out now and see what we've got. And it looks like we have a silver bin up. Rosie. All right. First one for today. Good deal. If I need anything else, get back with you. All right, this is Bama Dig Tap again. And I come across my second silver of the day. That's silver number two. Uh, I'll break it off here and see what we got. Looks like we've got another. Looks like we got a, a Merc, maybe. I think we do. I think we've got a Merc this time. All right. So that's, yep, Merc. Silver number two of the day. All right. Well, here I am. This is Bama Dig Tap. And I've come to you with my finds for today. Uh, do you know how sometimes when you look at a coin when it's first dug out of the ground and you think, oh, it's a pink flower. No, it's a blue flower. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, it's a rosy. No, it's a mercury. Well, I found a rose and I found a merc. Well, sometimes you're mistaken on those things. And today, well, I was mistaken on some things and uh, on my uh, initial digs. So I will straighten that out for you since everything is cleaned up. But I'm going to go over first some of the fairly cool things that I found and uh, some of the stuff that's not so cool, but uh, I found them anyway. But anyway, uh, the not so cool stuff everybody finds is clad. Three dimes and uh, four quarters and uh, a few pennies. Uh, I don't know exactly how many of those, but a few pennies, uh, probably about a dollar and a half in change. I found an old Allen wrench, which is not so cool, rusted and away. Probably hadn't been there long. I don't know what that is, but it's some piece of copper. Uh, an old toy spoon. Keep finding those. find those all the time. And this thing came up like a dime. Some type of twist, uh, twist screw. An old copper washer. I hate those because they come up like dimes. And you think, oh, I'm digging a dime. And come to find out it's a blame copper washer. Especially when it's four inches down and you're expecting silver to pop out of the ground and that washer pops out. 22 bullet. A Ford key. I found evidently used to be part of a button. I don't know exactly for sure what it was or what it is, but I think it was part of a button. I found a cross. Turn it sideways. It says, Jesus Christ is Lord. I also found, I don't know what that is, some round thing. I don't know if it's, well, I just don't know what it is. It's something. So anyway, some of the cooler stuff that I found. Uh, this is the second one of these that I found. Let me adjust the light around so you can see. This says uh, Andrew Jackson. It's got the date of his uh, presidential term, 18, uh, whatever that says. You can read it better than I can. Uh, I'll be able to read it better when I'm watching it on the uh, laptop. So I won't try to make a judgment, but you see it for what it says. 18, uh, I think it says 1887, but you can see it. I'm going to flip this over. And on the back it says, turn around, Shell President's Coin Game. I found two of those. I think the last one I found was Madison. So now I found uh, Jackson. And so we will see what we find the next time I find one of these. And this is really cool here. You see that? It says Essex Motor. It's porcelain inlay on a brass fixture. These are stuff like this is so cool to me and you can see where some of the porcelain of course is broken out but it says Essex Motors Detroit USA I'm assuming that Essex Motors was probably a dealership in Detroit and someone purchased uh, it from Detroit and drove it down here I know it's old but anyway red and white that's that. And I found an old 5 mil. Now these are rare to find. I find tax tokens all the time, but it's rare that I actually find a 5 mil. Uh, these are made not out of aluminum, but out of copper or brass one. So this came up like a dime, so I'm assuming that it's copper. Maybe I mean, I'm assuming that it's brass, because if it was copper, it would probably come up more like a quarter. 
Uh, but anyway, it says it's a five mil token. I'll flip it over and show you the other side. It's Mississippi. The square is Mississippi. Uh, turn it up so you can read it. Uh, to make uh, change for correct five sales tax payment. And of course you see it's upside down again. Mississippi. And uh, the one with a square is a miss uh, notch out is Mississippi the rounds or Alabama uh, I did find a five mil Alabama token but it was really worn down but and I also found of course my typical Wheaties uh, let me adjust the light for hopefully to get a good view of it this is a 1939 a 19 41 s and a 1952 d okay now earlier in my semi live dig where i found silver and i then i did a partial recording or i did a recording on the semi live dig what i found out was that uh something different i said oh i found a silver rosy well it was not a silver rosy it was a beat up merc 1942 and uh, from, I thought that it was a rosy and of course my eyes aren't like they once was but uh, hopefully they'll get back to where they once were but the way that's back it's plain you see it is beat up I do not think that I gouged it because even though there's some looks like bright scratches on it uh, if you look on the side of it there's dirt in the uh, uh, scuff marks on it and anyway I don't know if you can see it or not but I could have gouged it but I don't think so uh, because of the way that it was laying in a hole I think that's old gouge but uh, at least I want to believe that I didn't do it anyway but who knows uh, anyway if I did that's uh, my first uh, silver booger which uh, I usually don't uh, scar up my coins, but I hope that wasn't me, but whatever the case it was. Anyway, the second one is this one, 1943 Merck. And it is a 1943 S. I don't find too many S's, it's mint marks around here, but anyway, 1943, that's number, silver number uh, 56 and 57 that I found. And I uh, found it a yard only was there 45 minutes and came up with two mercs. 45 minutes. And the lady told me that I could come back when she was home. She had to go get her child from school. And she said, you know, when she was home that I could stop in and uh, finish hunting the yard. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you a wide span of all of the good stuff. And then a wide span of all of the so-so stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much my hunt for today. Two days in a row, I've got silver going. I don't know if I'll get out before uh, um, the first of next year. If I don't, then I'm stuck at 57 silvers for the for the for 2012. Uh, I want to get out and find five more dimes. That'll give me a full roll of dimes uh, for uh, for for the year, and uh, that would be just totally awesome. Uh, to find a full roll of dimes. But anyway, that's it. Uh, happy hunting, everyone, and God bless.